Hello everyone, and Mr. Too Fast 60 here, and today we are on a fourth guide here. Um, and the fourth guide is going to be joining a guild and basically all that um, includes in a guild, and I'll be giving you guys kind of a tutorial. So, um, in order to join a guild, you have to be level 6, which is pretty easy to get, especially after you get your uh, strong armor from the friend referral. Um, so you could just hit the relic runes for a little bit and then go through the quests and then once you get to that point <clears throat> you'll easily get to level six so when you're looking at the guide starting off um, it gives you some options messages center kind of gives you just messages um, they're not really important um, guild help if you ever need more help with <clears throat> kind of the ins and outs of a guild um, creating a guild which is highly I highly do not recommend it because it's hard to build up and get active people um, I highly recommend you guys joining a guild so since a war slash raid is going on right now um, I'd highly recommend you joining either an open guild uh, where you can just join and uh, join and they don't have to really accept you uh, <clears throat> which could be good or bad but so open means you can join um, during any time and you don't really have to ask um, anyone can join as they don't have any limits and you have to ask to join and they would have to accept you invite only is only invites closed is no one is gonna invite you or you can't join at all all is everything uh, basically all the kind of subjects and stuff that I've listed and they usually list out the Hire people, the most active people <clears throat> um, in raids and wars, or just active in general. Um, and the most full, or close to full. <clears throat> but we're going to join Oregon Ducks to kind of show you guys what's uh, kind of in there. So let's join the guild. And usually they say like um, a description, like must stay active, don't hit gate. Usually for the ones you have to ask to join, you have to get line. <clears throat> which I can show you guys how to kind of uh, work out line and all that other stuff in the next video um, but this is kind of it so in order to level up a guild you kind of have to do a lot of these um, MVP tokens or I forgot what they're called but basically objectives um, you have to finish this one <clears throat> basically it's participation it gives a, a bunch of different ones that um, everyone can contribute to so it's not just one account it's all accounts in the guild um, these are the members so there's four tiers of members I am currently a <clears throat> I'm currently a commander so you don't get any benefits with your attack and defense but as you go up with high commander um, you could start accepting people as a role and you have I think higher attack and defense stats <clears throat> and you could declare war whenever you want so the next up which is uh, the guild champion you have um, basically all the things as a high commander does but you also um, can kick out high commanders as a guild champion um, higher attack and defense than the high commanders uh, guild sentinel is basically the same thing um, above the guild champion and the guild sentinel can kick out the guild champion high commanders or any normal commander and the guild master is the end all be all type of thing um, can control most of the guild kick anyone they want um, and has the most stats so usually they're pretty darn strong this person doesn't have their ringing amulets but <clears throat> they're still fairly strong for where they're at um, so usually people want to be a guild master but i highly don't recommend it because for future wars and um stuff like that they would have to strip which is a whole entire different new um subject to go on but the bonuses it takes a lot of money i don't know how much i think they said about three billion to fully level up a guild <clears throat> so i i highly don't recommend getting a new guild but just joining a guild is basically the best, not creating one. But these are kind of the boosts. So it boosts up all knights wearing uh, a specific element armor. So it's really nice. 
um, to join a guild that's already maxed out and you won't have to worry about anything about this. And you can contribute. Um, you do get fusion boost for contributing. You can seek the contribution log as well for this week. Um, see how much people have contributed. Um, usually the guild bank is always pretty darn full. Um, I don't remember, but I think guild master can um, upgrade um, the armors here <clears throat> or the boosts. And then the Guardians, I highly do not recommend you getting a Guardian if you're in a higher tier guild. But if you're in a lower tier guild, it is what it is. Um, it just makes it a lot harder for wars if you're trying to like help each other out. Um, but the Guardian shop, make them and level them up. It's To me, it's a waste of money. And it's just better just to fight because it's just a negative for the other side of the guild, really. Um, and negative for you because less gold in your, um, or less money in your pocket. <clears throat> but that's kind of the thing here, and then you still have your message board and stuff on the top right, your guild bank on the top left. Highly don't recommend using the chat. The chat is terrible because you would send a message and then, um, it just gets all mixed up. Like, Justin could say, hey, what's up? But he could have said it like 10 hours ago and it says four hours ago. Um, so nothing is aligned there. I think it's just a bug that they don't keep up with Nice and Dragons, but <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of the video here. I highly recommend you joining a guild. Main reasons, you get a boost in stats. So I think we had 10K in attack and defense, but now we have 11, almost 12K in attack and about 13K defense. So it's extremely helpful um, with your stats and also just communicating with other people because that's probably the best part about Nice and Dragons is communication um, and an important thing about joining a guild is if you're joining a guild during a guild war or a raid you cannot leave until <clears throat> the raid or war has ended so that's another thing you have to be weary of um, you can't leave it and you can't join another guild if that is the case unless you're not in a guild then that would be fine but That'll be all for this video for today, so thanks everyone for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.